Hello students, this is Dr. Amar Preet Kaur, a lecturer from Jammu and Kashmir Education Department. Today I am going to teach you about the very important topic. It is famously known as Chargaff's Rules. It is going to be very important for you from your competitive examination point of view. Okay, so have focus. Chargaff, along with his colleagues, they performed certain uh, experiments on nucleotides um, and postulated some rules. So, the, on the basis of these rules, I am going to tell you how many postulates are there and what they are saying. Firstly, remember, Chargaff's rules, okay, these are important and only made for double-stranded DNA. It is not applicable for single-stranded DNA. Right. So, number one point is that the purines and pyrimidines, they occur in equal amounts. Purines, okay, found in DNA are, you know very well, they are either adenine or guanine. And pyrimidines of DNA, they can be thymine and cytosine. So, in other words, adenine plus guanine, it is equivalent to thymine plus cytosine. Clear? Now, the ratio of adenine over pyrimidine is always equal to 1. That is A plus G divided by T plus C, it is equal to 1. And this value, it is constant for all species. Base ratio, that is adenine plus thymine divided by cytosine plus guanine, it is specific for species. For examples, in human, it is 1.52 and in prokaryotes, let's say we have E. coli, which is very uh, important model of uh, prokaryotes. The ratio is 0.92. Another postulate is sugar deoxyribose and phosphate residues they occur in equal number. Clear? Purine, adenine, it is equimolar with pyrimidine, thymine. So, adenine is equal to thymine, the amount of adenine. Next, the amount of guanine or purine guanine, it is equimolar with Pyramidine, cytosine. So, these rules, they are very important. Try to understand them again and again. Read and try to solve the examples which are related with this particular rules. Thank you for now. If you have any query or question, you can visit my website that is www.amarpreetkaur.com and you can post over there and you can also listen to some previous lectures.